Pad Thai, one of the most popular noodle dishes around the world. It's pretty much up there with spaghetti and meatballs, at least for me. Today we're making another friendly recipe for busy bees like yourselves. I've been thinking guys that I've really missed doing the 30 day series and now that we're in March, I can't believe it's already March. I thought I would do a new series. This month we're gonna be doing all noodles all the time, at least as often as possible. But I am gonna do kind of a choose your own adventure, so stay tuned till the end where you guys get to pick the next episode. If you guys love noodles and you wanna see more friendly recipes for busy bees, hit that subscribe button and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you love pad thai. Now we're gonna go ahead and get started with our noodles. So to make pad thai, you use a very specific noodle. Rice noodles, AKA pad thai noodles or like ban pho, which is like pho noodle sticks. I like to change it up and make it a little bit healthier by using brown rice noodles. So I found this at Whole Foods, and it looks like this. If you guys wanna use just the plain, regular white noodle, white rice noodles, you totally could do that too. So to prepare our noodles, I'm gonna place them into a shallow pan like this one. Kinda of spread them out. And then I'm gonna pour hot water, almost boiling, and soak them for about 10 minutes. What we're doing is softening the noodles so later when we cook them, they'll be the perfect texture. All right, I'll set this aside and once it's softened just right, I will drain them and then we'll cook them later. So our noodles are nice and soft and this is the texture that I'm looking for. It's very undercooked and it's pliable but there's still a little bit of more than al dente-ness to them. So now that we've prepared our noodles, let's work on our sauce. Of course, you guys can always buy the pre-made pad thai sauce, but there's something so satisfying about making your own. Plus, I already have most of the ingredients in my pantry, so hey, why not? So first, we're gonna start with a special ingredient, which is tamarind paste. Tamarind paste gives pad thai that very sour and sweet flavor that's very unique. I got this at Whole Foods, but you can pretty much find it at any grocery stores nowadays in the Asian um, spice aisle. Let me show it to you. It's just a very thick paste, kind of like molasses. It's used in a lot of Vietnamese or Asian cooking, but if you don't wanna get tamarind paste or don't have much of a use for it for a whole jar like this, then you can totally substitute with equal parts um, lime juice and sugar. Here I have one tablespoon. I'm gonna add it to my bowl. So I tend to like my pad thai on the tart side, so if you don't like it too tart, just reduce the amount, so maybe two teaspoons. And then I have three tablespoons of fish sauce, and then three tablespoons of brown sugar. So if you're making more, you always wanna make sure you have the same amount of fish sauce and brown sugar. And finally, to balance and thin everything out, a quarter cup of water. You can also substitute for chicken broth if you want more flavor. Give it a mix, 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 mix. And I'll just mix it until the water and the tamarind paste has dissolved into a very nice and thin sauce. Beautiful. Let's give it a quick taste to make sure it's just right. It's tart, but I like it like that. So really it's up to you guys. But it's sweet, salty, sour, all the combinations that's typical in a Thai dish. Or Pad Thai. All right, the sauce is done. I'm gonna set it aside and now we're gonna cook our Pad Thai. To make Pad Thai, you need extra high heat. So today I'm using this portable gas stove that I have um, and it's great. And then along with this gas stove, I'm gonna use my trusty wok. Put it on top, let it get really hot, and then I'm gonna get all of our ingredients out. I have a funny story with this wok. When I first got it and tried to season it, I was watching a YouTube video and they said to oil it and keep oiling it while it's smoking so that you could season it. Um, it lit on fire, literally. 
I caused a small fire in our apartment and I had to get the uh, fire extinguisher for the first time. I was panicking and I took a cookie sheet, put it over the flame and then grabbed the fire extinguisher and blew everything out. Do not try that at home, you guys. The best way to season this is actually just in the oven. You put a thin layer of oil, put foil around it, and just put it in the oven and season it. I feel like that's the safest way. Do not do it while it's smoking and cause a fire in your house. That was so scary. Anyways, I have everything laid out and I'm gonna walk you guys through the directions because it's super fast. So in my really hot wok, I'm gonna add a little bit of oil. For the oil, make sure you add enough to coat the bottom of the wok because you don't want the chicken or anything to stick. And then I'm gonna add in one chicken thigh that I've already sliced up. Then I'll season it with two teaspoons of fish sauce. Cook it for a few minutes until it's nice and cooked through. Then I'll toss half an onion that I've already chopped up, two cloves of garlic minced, Continue stir frying it for about a minute until the onion's nice and fragrant. Now I'll toss in my tofu. Here I have half a block of tofu that I've cubed. Cook it for another minute. And then we add in our noodles along with our sauce mixture. And just continue mixing everything so that the noodles don't stick. Once the noodles look kind of cooked, you'll see it get nice and sticky. That's when you add in the rest of your ingredients. I have two cups of bean sprouts, two stalks of onions, green onions that I've cut up. Give it another toss, and then finally make a well in the middle and add your eggs. I have two eggs that I'll add into the well, and I'll just scramble them up as I'm mixing everything up. And that's it! How easy was that, you guys? Literally, if you have no idea what to make for dinner, this right here comes together in about 15 minutes, honestly. So now I'm gonna show you guys how to plate this. Our pad thai is done, and this made about three to four servings, so it's perfect for a family meal. One pot. Okay, so I'm gonna add the pad thai into my dish. It's lunchtime, I'm hungry, so I'm gonna give myself a pretty nice serving. Get a green onion in there for color. The tofu and the chicken tends to kind of fall at the bottom, so make sure when you're serving to scoop some up. Typically, this is what you would get, and I like to sprinkle some crushed peanuts. I'll put it on the side. And then I like to add some sambal chili garlic paste. I'll add a wedge of lime, just leave it on the side. And finally, I'll garnish it with a little bit of cilantro. If you have Thai basil, that would go really well too. And voila, our pad thai noodle dish is done. So this isn't the most authentic way um, to make it. They usually put like, like shredded radish in there and some other ingredients, but I'm trying to make it accessible for everyone. Everything I bought here was from Whole Foods and you can pretty much get it from any grocery stores. It looks really good and it's pretty legit. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Now I'll just give it a squeeze of lime. Remember, I like my stuff sour. Mix up the peanuts and the chili sauce. Get a piece of chicken in there. That was good. Oh, 
I feel like pad thai is one of those daunting dishes where you're kind of afraid to make it at home because of the wok and just how fast everything moves. But as you guys can see and how I demonstrated it today, it's really easy and it just takes a few steps um, to really make sure that it comes out perfectly. I hope you guys love this recipe as much as I do. Tomorrow we're gonna be doing fitness with Emmeline. I'd love to know how you guys um, are liking that series and if you find it useful, if you think we should make more fitness videos with Emmeline, but Next week, I haven't figured out which day yet, but you guys get to pick your own adventure. So for our next noodle dish, I would love to know if you want beef broccoli chow mein or shrimp scampi zoodles. Both are really good and I couldn't figure out which one to make, so I want you guys to vote. Comment below and also let me know if you've ever made pad thai before. This recipe could be pared down to be vegetarian. Um, if you don't wanna use fish sauce, totally just substitute for coconut aminos or soy sauce. It's, got, it's not gonna be super authentic, but it will still work. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I hope you're excited about March noodle madness as I am, and I will see you guys on the next video. Bye! If you guys wanna see more noodle videos that I've made in the past, check out this one where I made kimchi fried noodles, jajangmyeon, and Thai peanut noodles. I also have a quick pho video too.